I would like to call Jamie Burroughs, founder and CEO of Vertical Future, to give his introductory remarks. Your Excellencies, uh, distinguished guests, um, ladies and gentlemen, and um, organizers of the conference, um, it's a pleasure to be here today to represent Vertical Future, a global vertical farming technology uh, and data company. Uh, we've been around for about seven years, and a pleasure to be here in such a beautiful, um, hot, usual. Uh, country and to uh, to meet such nice people. And um, before we uh, get into all the details, I wish everybody a really good uh, event. And really happy to be here. Um, we're entering technically the third generation of modern vertical farming. This has been a sector which has has had a lot of positives and a lot of negatives over the last ten to fifteen years. And looking forward, we really need to be looking at the. Um, the new innovations that need to take place. In terms of what's happened over the last six to 12 months, we've seen a lot of volatility in capital markets. We've seen rising interest rates. We've seen uh, a lack of faith in the vertical farming sector, which has been, a lot of this has been driven by uh, some big failures in the US uh, and in other markets that have really raised a lot of questions about where are we going next? And um, I think during this conference, we'd like to talk a lot about and and hear, hear what people have to say about what the solutions are moving forward, because really we do need to find solutions. Jeff Bezos said a very, um, a very interesting quote, and he asked Warren Buffett, your style of investing is slow. And why is this? And why does, why, why nobody else does this? And, um, Jeff Bezos, uh, sorry, uh, Warren Buffett responded and said, um, making good money slowly is difficult and people don't want to do it. And this has been one of the, the key challenges with vertical farming to date. There's been a lot of venture capital money that's gone in into technologies, technologies that have been rushed and brought together in the wrong way with the wrong kind of plant science. And uh, really, we need to find that kind of patient capital and people that are willing to take more risks in, in, a, in a good, measured, slow way. Globally, there have been, uh, it's not all bad news, there have been a lot of really positive movements in, in markets which um, actually don't have a, a really high unmet demand for, for vertical farming. So I look at my home country, United Kingdom, we're seeing the probably the most amount of, uh, of scalable vertical farming solutions being built to date, despite having the highest energy prices globally or, or close to, and having very, very low food prices. Here in the Gulf states and specifically the UAE, um, there's a much higher uh, demand for, for this type of technology. And uh, we really think that this is a place for everything to be happening and to be done. There needs to be reconciliation above all, as I said, faith in the sector. We need to recognize disruptive, integrated and intelligent solutions. And the UAE has always been known globally, just looking as an outsider, as um, an area where you know there's been a curiosity to innovate and uh, and and become a kind of a beacon and hope for change and there's really no other place where uh, we can see there are obviously markets globally where this is happening but really we see this as the epicenter of uh, potential for for vertical farming and um, just going back to to some of the statements of his, his excellency um, we also need to think about this as a long-term infrastructure play. And this goes back to the point about patient capital. So not only meeting the needs of, to, of, of uh, people today, but thinking about the generations of, of uh, our future. So when I run my business, I think about what's it going to be like for my three children uh, in the future and what can we do today? So really looking, for a, um, looking forward to an excellent conference. And um, thank you again to, to everybody uh, for, the, uh, for the invitation and please be a strategic uh, partner. And uh, let's have a great conference. Thank you. Thank you, Jamie.